Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday. I am so happy about that, by the way. You know what I said yesterday was a good day. I finally got myself some meat on Fridays for the first time in, since right before Valentine's Day. So February 9th, because that was the last Friday before then. So, yeah. So far, this weekend's already turned out pretty darn good. If you guys are wondering what I did, I actually went to Outback Steakhouse. I actually tried that three-point bloom. You know that bloomin' onion top of the uh, cheddar bacon fries and some of their ribs? That was everything I thought it would be and more. It is that good. If for whatever reason you had to Outback Steakhouse, I do, in fact, highly recommend you try it. So, yeah. That's awesome. And that was really about it. You know, it was... Honestly, Friday night was pretty pretty mellow. But I'm not looking for anything grandiose, so... Forget it. it was, yesterday was a good Friday. And I'm pretty sure today's going to be a pretty good day as well. Although the fact that it is Saturday really does help with that. Now, doesn't it? You know, honestly, it's on days like these, I do look back on my days at uh, Trinity Pauling. Because, I may have said this a while back, but not only was Trinity Pauling an all-boys school, but we had to go to school, <clears throat> excuse me, six days a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, granted, Wednesday and Saturday were half days. You know, starts at 8, get out at like 11, 11.15. Any of my brothers listening, any of you guys remember how long until we actually got out on half days? I'm pretty sure it was after 10.30, but probably before 11.15. I forget. <laughs> anyway. So, Yeah. There's also that as well, as well as the fact that whether you lived on campus or you were a day student, yeah, there were people who lived in the town of Pauling, New York, who actually went to Trinity Pauling for school during the day, even though there was actually a Pauling school district there. So yeah, in fact, two examples of day students, believe it or not, the guy I mentioned my, my brother who got engaged yesterday and his little brother, the one who I, who wrestled with me, but I didn't actually wrestle with him, they were both A students. In fact, I know for a fact they got a good deal because, again, I believe their father actually had some sort of, for, forgive me if I mess this up because I know your father had like a job on campus, I just forget what it was. But, yeah, he was really cool to me because, and I mentioned this yesterday, every Monday I have to pick up my dry cleaning in terms of what I wore for classes. He made sure I didn't have to look through everyone else's dry cleaning to find mine. So that was really special. And I also forgot to mention this as well about my brother who got engaged. But believe it or not, even though he was a day student, he actually still had a dorm parent and... He and I are the same dorm parent. Yeah. It was actually the soccer coach at Trinity Pauling. And one of the track coaches as well. So. Oh. Uh, bird chirping. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Again, I just got to say congratulations to you. To you and your family. You know. It's really special that they got in. Especially that they got engaged, because as I said before, love is always a beautiful thing. In fact, you're hard-pressed to find anything more beautiful. That's how beautiful it is. I certainly can't think of anything. But as I stated before in these videos, I'm a moron who does not know anything. It's only by the grace of God I know how to dress myself. Oh, well, that's not true. I know how to dress myself. Just... I'm trying to add humor to this, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. <sighs>
Although I do have to lament on the fact that we are in spring, and yet we're still getting snow on the ground. We're still getting snow in general. I do not like that. I want it to be warm. But I guess patience comes to those who wait. I mean, we may be in April, but we're not necessarily that far in April. We're only... Actually, we'll be a quarter of the way there by the end of the day today. Huh. Wow. Time really is flying by pretty fast now, isn't it? Pretty soon we're going to be a day... 100. Wow. Holy cow. We're going to be at day 100. And... As per the saying, unfortunately, I will not be able to keep it 100. Because whether I have anything planned on that day or not, one thing's for sure, the fact I've kept this up for this long means that, you know what, I made the right decision on doing these videos. And the fact that you guys who continue to watch, whether you're watching, whether you've been watching via Facebook from the very beginning, or watching via YouTube, since I started putting him up on YouTube a week ago. Although, again, you do have the option of starting from the very beginning on YouTube, too, because those videos are there. I am so beyond ecstatic that I have made it this far. Actually, no, we made it this far. And I love that you guys continue to show support. I love that you guys continue to comment. I love that... You know, just everything about doing this has just been fantastic. And yeah, I do have big plans for these one day. Again, that big old party I mentioned between my brothers, my bullets, and the good people four sides. So yeah, there's that, but again, one day at a time. You can't expect to rush these things. You cannot rush perfection. You can't even rush the day to end. And since it's not even 7 a.m. as I'm making this video, that really does seem to be the case. So, I guess on that note, my plans for today pretty much goes is I'm going to visit my folks today. I'm going to go get myself some breakfast afterwards. And then I will do... What every grown adult male heterosexual does on Saturday mornings. And that is, I will watch Saturday morning cartoons. I'm a grown man, I can watch Saturday morning cartoons anytime I want. I can watch Saturday morning cartoons on a Monday if I want to. And just because they're on Monday doesn't mean they didn't premiere on Saturday. Think about it. <sighs> I guess I'm also reminded about the fact that I, that I do watch anime nowadays, but I would like to clear something up for those of you who are confused. All anime are cartoons. They involve animation, drawing lots of tiny pictures here and there. And you just see the uh, cut I have in my finger right there. Drawing lots of tiny little pictures in order to fit them up and shoot them on the camera, to fit them on the screen. All anime are cartoons, but not all cartoons are anime. I want to get that taken care of because some people, for whatever reason, like to get that confused. And on that note, I think I have rambled on long enough. So, like, favorite, share, and subscribe on YouTube. And remember to all my Facebook friends, I am humbled. That I made this video for all of you to watch and enjoy. I am hopeful that we all have a wonderful day today. And remember, if you guys ever want to talk, if you guys ever want to chat, I'll always be here to lend an ear, and I'll always have your back. So take care, and let's have a happy Saturday, shall we?